Thank you, Joan. I want to make sure you get down the stairs, okay? <laughs> We don't need another accident tonight. Thank you so much, Joan. It is such an honor to be here. Thank you to the environmental community and welcome to this evening. And I, it is my great honor and pleasure to be here. Uh, how's everybody doing tonight? Really, that's the best you can do? How's everybody doing tonight? There we go, that's what I'm thinking about. Um, well, it is an honor, as I said, to be here. Uh, my name is Mona Das, and I have the pleasure and honor of representing the 47th District uh, in the State Senate this year. That includes Kent, Covington, and Auburn. Yay! <laughs> um, and as Joan mentioned, uh, there's quite a few of us new newbies uh, floating around. And I know if you've been down to Olympia, there's a new energy, and it's very exciting to be there. And I really want to thank the Washington Environmental Council uh, and Washington conservation voters. I would not be standing here if it weren't for these two organizations that supported me often and early. There are so many people in this room I could go on and thank uh, all day, but there are so many people, so many of you that actually got out and door knocked for us, made phone calls, text messages, emails, talked to your friends. I just, I just wanna say that it worked and we're here, and uh, you know, having as many environmental champions in the Senate and the legislature is really important, and you know that the work that we're doing is important, and we really need to save our orca, so that's one of my big missions. <laughs> my family came here from India when I was eight months old with six dollars. I'm truly one of those people that you know now that has living that dream, that dream of the hope and promise of this country and what we can really be. I'm very classically Indian. Half my family are doctors, the other half are engineers. <laughs> so I don't know about you, but I do my best thinking in the shower. And so one day I was visiting my brother in Ohio and I got out of the shower and I said to him, I'm gonna be a senator. And we both looked at each other like, what? Where did that come from? And it's one of those ideas that I put on a shelf because I didn't know any politicians in my family. I didn't even know what they did or why they did it. I didn't understand. It was that idea that I would take off the shelf and dust off every once in a while and put it back on the shelf, dust it off and look at it and say, that's not possible, that can't be me. And then I moved to the Pacific Northwest. And I have a dog that has more energy than me, believe it or not. And we're walking one day, and he doesn't like to stop. And so we're walking, and I saw a sign, literally saw a sign, and it said, Pramila Jayapal for State Senate. <laughs> and I want you to know that I'm Indian, and I knew by her name that she was Indian too. And as I am walking, I stop dead in my tracks. My dog is going nuts because he does not like to stop. And I stood there for five minutes and I cried my eyes out. Because you see, it was the first time I'd ever seen somebody that I knew looked like me and thought like me. <laughs> that was out there doing my dream and what I wanted to do. And when I stood in front of that sign, I knew if she could do it, I could do it. I stand here today to say, representation truly matters. When did I fall in love with the environment? So after I went, graduated from college, I, went to, I moved to New Hampshire to find myself. And I really did. That's when I fell in love with the environment. That's when I started hiking and biking and camping and kayaking and all of the things that we love here about the Pacific Northwest. And that's really, truly when I became an environmental champion. I moved here to the Pacific Northwest and I knew that this was, this was home. It was one of those places where you get to and you just know that this is home. So that's, that's something that drives me every day. And as you know, I am serving 
in my first legislative session. And I will tell you, there, the first thing anyone asks you when run, running for office is, why are you running? And I'll tell you why I ran. I ran because I know climate change is real, and the, and the environment and our orcas can't wait. Healthcare is a right, not a privilege. Immigrants to our country are the reason it's so great. I believe women have the right to make the decisions about their own bodies. In my first 75 days in office, it's only been 75 days, I've learned so many nuances of the complex issues that affect our state, as well as our legislative options for addressing them. I've been working on one of the most important issues currently facing our state, which is protecting our environment for future generations. Some of you in this room don't get to see what happens in Olympia, but I wanna say as a first year senator, one of the things that I have to say has been the most important for me is folks like Darcy Nonemaker and Cliff Traceman from WEC. Every day, they are a resource. I can always rely on them to help me with policy expertise and create, to, to create the protections that our state needs. I've also learned about the impact I can have on my fellow Washingtonians, and now I serve as an inspiration and a role model. I can't tell you how excited my staff and I were to get a package that we received uh, at our office. It was um, sent to us by students from Glenwood Elementary in Lake Stevens. Their fifth grade teacher, Mr. Fritz, who's a constituent of mine, saw a news, article, a news piece on King 5 about the work that we were doing with the plastic bag ban. And he inspired his students who care deeply about the environment to write to me. Their letters and drawings specifically reference the bill that I've been working on to ban plastic bags in the state of Washington. When this bill is adopted, thank you, Senator, uh, Rep Representative Joe Fitzgibbons for working on it in the House, appreciate it. We will be the third state to enact a plastic bag statewide. I know that it's something that we can be really proud of and one of the most, most things I'm proud about this bill is that we had bipartisan support. So that was uh, truly incredible to see folks from the other side of the aisle join us in realizing that this is something that we need. I'm proud of this group of children, our future leaders. They cared enough about our policies to take the time and effort to write. They really do make me realize that our future is bright and hopeful. Protecting our environment is one of our pas my passions as a lawmaker, and I can't tell you how proud I am of these kids that see me in, as a leader in this area. It just goes to show that you never know when something that you do will inspire someone else to act. I am lucky to be a state senator, to have so many sources of inspiration. I have the benefit of very strong women of color, currently and previously in the state legislature. As I mentioned, Pramila Jaipal, Monka Dingra, Vandana Slaughter, some of my inspirations. I can look to our governor, Jay Inslee, who has prioritized environmental reforms and is leading the nation. We know he's leading the nation in the conversion on, of the conversation on climate change, and for that, I am very grateful. As I move forward in my political career, I try to remind, my, remind myself that the steps that I take and the decisions I make will have lasting impacts. And I'm not just talking about our laws and policies. I'm talking about the conversations that we're starting between families at the dinner table, working on science projects, friends over coffee, and students in the classroom. What we do in Olympia starts these conversations and plants the seeds for future change. By becoming a state senator, I choose to make an impact. 
I encourage you to do the same in your own communities. You never know who you might inspire. Thank you.